The next station is Southampton Central. No, look, I've only just got back from college and I have this English course I've to be doing, okay? Come on, it'll do some good. Oh, piss off. I go out all the time, okay? But I really do need to get this coursework done. Alright then, you killjoys. Have fun with your coursework. Okay, you know what? I'll come out for about an hour or so, but, you know, that's it. Oh, good. Bring Dave with you as well, then. Well, you know, he wasn't at college today, so I think he might be ill or something. Just not from anyway. He might have bounced. He does that. Yes, alright. David? David, you in?
train is the service from London and Waterloo. Mind the gap between the train and the platform. Mind the gap. What do you want now? I've told you, I don't know where he is. Right? I went to his house yesterday, but he wasn't there. There was knocking on one of his doors, but there was nothing there, all right? Now I've got to go to college, okay? I'll see you later. David? Are you all right? Where have you been? Hello? Is there someone there? Who's there? Can, can you hear me? Where are you? Hello? David, it's me, Joe. Hello? Is there someone there? Who's there? Can, can you hear me? Where are you? Hello?
Mike, it's me, Joe. Listen, I know where David is. Okay, but well, where is he then? He's dead. What? There's, there's something weird in his house. Some kind of ghost. Or a demon, maybe, I don't know. But I think it's killed him. It's taken his family as well. There was no sign of him. It wants it. It's had an addictive influence on me ever since I found it. I can't get rid of it. And I don't want to. Yeah, funny. Now, where is he really? I'm not fucking lying, okay? This is serious. I need to find out what's going on. I can't just call the police and tell them some evil demon's on the loose. What the hell are you talking about? I'm going to have to go to David's house for a bit, okay? Maybe a few nights, that's all. Just say a meal if anyone at college asks. Seriously? Is this some kind of stupid joke? It's not a bloody joke, Mike! Look, just don't start telling anyone about this, okay? I need to find out what's going on and this is the only way I can do it. Yeah, right. This is a bit much now. Look, whether you believe me or not, I really don't care. But I'm going to know. I need to find out what happened to our friend. Goodbye. Wait. Hey.
When I arrived at the house, I expected to have to kick the door in, but the back gate was open, as if the being I saw was inviting me in. I saw it again in the garden shortly after I arrived at the house. It vanished quickly and was nowhere to be found when I went down to check. It seems to be toying with me. It allowed me to enter and is making its presence clear, but I haven't fallen victim to any more attacks. I will keep on investigating while maintaining my guard. I have no idea what it plans to do next.
Today I had a look inside the front room of the house. It was in shambles as if someone had wrecked it. There were torn pieces of notes reminiscent of the ones I found last night. I also found a necklace in the room, similar to the one I have now. It seems to be some sort of replica, as if someone was trying to replace the original. I did not feel inclined to keep it and I didn't hear any voices, so it's clearly a counterfeit. I'm unsure if David had the necklace and was involved with this counterfeit, but it seems likely at this stage. the necklace, but I'm not giving it back. I don't care how many threatening notes this creature wants to send me. The necklace is mine and I'm not giving it back. The counterfeit didn't work. The ghost spoke to me last night with the most cold, foul voice I've ever heard. It told me it wants the real necklace back and will kill me if it doesn't have it. It told me that it refused to move on after death because of this cursed object. It will come for me if I don't return it. But I do not care for any of its pathetic threats. The necklace is mine and will not give it back. Never. It told me that it refused to move on after death because of this cursed object. It will come for me if I don't return it.
I have witnessed the most frightening thing since I came here two days ago. The being that came for David is definitely in this house. I've seen it with my own eyes. It tried to attack me last night when I discovered it in the locked room. It's a pale, monstrous creature. Its face was a sickening white and its eyes were deep and sunken and it was fully cloaked in black. I know it wants this necklace and is torturing me to hand it back and I have been idiotic enough up to now to surrender to the necklace's powerful influence but I shan't anymore. I will give it back today and then leave this house in the hope that this creature will finally be at peace. If I leave no trails of my actions, hopefully nobody else will ever stumble across this horrid thing again.